Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to create your own texture. I will give you enough information so you can create and apply your own texture. There are a lot of other uh, properties that you can play with uh, in the different menus, but unfortunately I don't have enough time to go through all of them so you can just play, play with it yourself and see what they do. But first, I would like to go through some uh, basic steps regarding how to use the appearance menu and how to apply a default texture. Okay then, let's start. So uh, I have this table and it's almost ready and I would like to get uh, to see how it's gonna look like um, with some different uh, textures. So um, let's uh, apply some. Now, in order to get to uh, the appearance menu, uh, you can either click on the, um, on the workplace here, anywhere, and choose appearance or the keyboard shortcut A or you can also just right click on the components or, or directly on the uh, body and just right click and choose appearance. Uh, but uh, I would like, to, uh, I like to uh, use the uh, short key. So I click the A and um, yeah, so here is the appearance window. First of all, I want you to uh, notice the two options that you have here in the top. You have the bodies components and the faces. There is a difference, obviously, because if you're going to apply a texture to a, a body or component, it's going to be everything. But in my case, for example, I would like to add a texture only at the top part, and I'm going to use some different textures around on the edges. So I'm going to use the faces. Um, now, most of you probably maybe, maybe already went through all the different uh, textures here. There are a lot of good textures. But in my case, I've tried some few and I wasn't 100% sure about them, so I would like to add a new one. But first of all, I would like to uh, start uh, with uh, one of the um, textures that already exists here. So I'm gonna go to the wood and then finish. And I'm gonna use this oak one. So I'm gonna, just gonna take it and drop it on top. Looks really nice. Uh, and let's say in case you don't want it, uh, so there is a there is a better way how to uh, change it. It's just to take the the the, the different uh, the other um, texture that you want and drop it on top of it here in the top, instead of uh, put it on top of the um, on top of the uh, yeah the body that you want to change. And the reason is because let's just say that you have a, uh, a model with a lot of parts and you apply the texture in a lot of many places, small places. So that's going to save you a lot of time instead of going through each and every part, every aid, edge or whatever and start changing it. So this way you just take it and drop it on top and that's it. So uh, for that example, um, I'm gonna, uh, the way we're gonna create our own texture is we're gonna duplicate an existing one. You don't have any button where you can say add new texture. We need to use the existing one. So because I'm going to add a um, wood texture, so I'm gonna use a <clears throat> an existing wood texture uh, for that. It doesn't make sense to use, for example, a metal texture and then duplicate it and use it for, <clears throat> sorry, for a wood texture because there are some specific settings for a metal. So, and then you're gonna have to go through them and to change them and so on. So it's much more practical and right to just right click on the wood one and duplicate. Next, we're going to do is I'm going to uh, change it, right click on it, and I'm going to rename it, sorry. I'm going to change it to um, my wood texture, for example. And I'm going to, just going to click done. Next step, don't forget, now we duplicated this one. But this is the one we apply to the table. So we remember that just to take it and drop it on top of this one and that's it don't worry it didn't delete it, the original it's still here it just change it switch places so we're just gonna uh, right click on it now and choose edit 
By the way, remember this little window. Uh, we're gonna use it later. It's quite important. We click on the advanced tab, and I'm just gonna increase the window here. There are some roughness texture added to this one. I don't need it. I'm just gonna change it to a slider or with the way down. Also, another relief bump here. Again, to get some extra effect to the uh, texture. I'm not gonna use this one. You can play with them and see what they're doing. But in, uh, in, in, in this example, I, I don't need it. I'm gonna remove it. Next, we're going to uh, change uh, the texture, the picture. So this is the new window. And let me resize a little bit. Good. So in order to change the picture, we just click on text here. And there you go, you have the, you just need to browse to where you save all your textures. Mine saved under here, it's called folder called textures. I have many kinds that I've downloaded. And by the way, don't forget to download the best resolution that you can. Um, and second thing, also think about the size of the components that you are uh, going to apply the texture to. Um, if you, for example, um, downloaded a very small uh, texture picture, then you're gonna have to, you know, multiply it. And but if it's uh, gonna be too big, then it's actually much better. But remember the resolution: the higher, the better. Okay. So I'm gonna look for something new here. Um, not a zebra. Maybe this one. Oh, this one, I'll go with this one. Okay. Then here we go. It's already, you can see, it changed here automatically. And what you see here basically is the repeated. I can tell it, don't repeat it uh, horizontally or vertically. In this case, it was vertically. Um, yeah. If you have found a texture where it is uh, designed like this, that you can extend it vertically or, uh, or horizontally, then, then it's fine. If not, you can just, uh, and it's annoying you, then you can just remove it. And I'll, I'll show you what you can do uh, in order to achieve, to cover everything. And so it's gonna look good. So, um, so disregard this one. Here again, you can just scale it if you want. Uh, you can create some different kind of offsets. You can uh, change the your rotation. Or you can just write here, 90 degrees. And voila, you can see immediately it's already changed. And I'm gonna show you another way how you can change it. So, but you can also do it of course from here. Uh, what else? Uh, you can just click done and apply. And that's it. And here we have our texture. Now, in case uh, we got we have a texture that it's too small. Let me see if I can find one. Um, I think it was this one. No, it wasn't that. But never mind. Sometimes you, it's happened where you you uh, you have some small um, you know texture and uh, it doesn't sit right on the body. Um, so the two places where you can actually change it, uh, scale it, uh, you can change it from here. As you remember, I told you to remember this little window here. Here you can see the scale. Sometimes it's gonna be kind of a little bit off. It's going to be like this, for example, so you can scale it from here. Or you can, in general, you can just play with it. You can also do the rotation from here. You can change the uh, roughness and reflectivity also from here. But there is another place uh, which I really, really like uh, to play with much better actually than this one and so but first we need to close this one I'm just gonna move it a little bit 
uh, we are going to right click on the component and we choose texture map control what this now we just need to uh, choose the table you see what this actually it's extremely powerful it's like the move command what it's actually going to allow us to do is to play with the texture the way we want really we can okay here we cannot actually do the zoom but we can actually uh, change you see rotate it uh, we can uh, move it right left forward backwards really it's it, it's amazing also from here or if you click on this one just play with it the way you want with no restrictions uh, you can also change I don't know if you can see it what I'm doing now so there are really many many options uh, how you can play with it so try it and um, so just remember you have this tool so if the, the picture doesn't fit exactly 100% it doesn't matter where you put it uh, in some places you know that it's small they're not 100 percent straight they're curved so you can always choose this one the texture map control and then start play with it now we have different options here i like to use for example the box because then i can get all the different direction uh, if it's a spherical something round uh, that you apply the texture to for example if i applied it to the legs then i'm probably going to use a cylindrical and play with this one uh, spherical it's basically almost the same planner yeah it just yeah but i like to use the box because here i have the full control and on everything how it's going to look like how it's going to sit how it's going to rotate uh, right to left up and down and so on um what more i think it's essentially that's it for now these are basically the, the these are the basics that you need to know um, from now you can just play with it the way you want um, and remember to after you duplicate it to change the name then you can also right click on it and add to favorite and then you can have it over here with all the other textures that you are gonna create or that you're gonna use in general so you don't have to you know look for it all with all the times because we're not using all the textures you know in general in our work um, so we can just put them in our favorite and uh, everything is gonna be here if you don't want it you just right click remove from favorite uh, let's see if I forgot something uh, so far so good uh, as you, so as, as you can see it's very t it's relatively very simple and uh, it's not comp so it's not complicated but if you have any question uh, regarding the texture uh, or anything else just put it down below in the comments um, and I will say that that's it for now uh, don't forget to press the like button um, and again if you have any question don't be afraid just write it down uh, if you want me also to uh, make an uh, tutorial about something else just again send me a message and uh, don't forget to subscribe because there are many other uh, good videos are coming very soon and um, yeah I'll see you on the next video bye bye